Hi everyone. I'm just going to do a quick energy reading for the day. Let's see. I'm going to get three cards. First card for the collective. Okay, so this is the Eight of Pentacles. Learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to details, skilled work that you love. So this is you perfecting your skills, exactly what it said. Working with others, okay? You may even ask somebody for help. Someone may offer their help. I actually feel like you may be asking someone for help because look at how he's approaching her. I see somebody doing something that they want to perfect, and so it's like asking somebody for, I just heard asking someone for a favor, so someone may be even approaching you, asking you to help them, so let's see, what else? Ooh, seven of swords, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom, take caution and beware of others' actions and material loss, make sure you're being honest with yourself, embarrassing secrets. Whoa. I don't like that. So this could be even someone that's approaching you that betrayed you in the past. Okay. And this is kind of why now it kind of like makes sense. Like see how she's like looking down. I feel like because the energy I got was like this person was avoiding the other person's gaze. <laughs> I feel like when this person approaches you, they're going to be sincere about whatever it is that they're saying. But I definitely feel, yeah, see, this person was like lost in their ego and um, this is the reason why. Knight of Pentacles, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehens apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to details, wait for perfect timing, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Yeah, so I feel like regardless, like what whoever, because I feel like both energies are actually watching me right now. So um, I feel like whoever's being approached by the past or by someone, because someone needs somebody else's help here, okay? But I feel like whoever this person is that's asking you for help, they have viciously betrayed you, I heard. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Yeah. Um, and this is about moving on, moving forward, releasing the past. It says the end of challenging times, things are looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, travel or relocation. Yeah. And queen of pentacles. Okay. So what I was going to say is possibly you've been working on something that's kind of taken a long time. It might be taking a long time. I do feel like it is growing. Okay. Expanding. I also feel like, uh, there's some, there's an energy here that's very stable. Okay. Very focused on what they want. They see their life a certain way. Okay. And they're really focused and fixated on having this. It's like, it's like a stable balanced life because I'm really drawn to all the pentacles and pentacles. It's, it's about reality. It's about like being stable. It's about things that you can touch, things that are, that are grounded. Okay. So being grounded, it's like not anything that's illusionary or, or, um, made like pie in the sky is what they said. There's no like pie in the sky. It's like this, there's one energy here that is very practical. Thank you. And then, um, about, it's just like, they're no longer like, seeing the pie in the sky or something like that. Okay. And, the, and I feel like there's another energy here wanting help from this person that is very grounded, very stable, very practical, um, focused and ambitious is what I'm also hearing. Okay. And this person like wants what they have, you know, it's, it's almost like, didn't we just say, yeah, finding a mentor. So this person could be asking for you to like show them how you do it. Okay. Um, there's an energy here to be, oh, look, yeah, this person could be contacting you or traveling 
to you. Um, yeah, traveling to you. There's something about the 4th of July here. Maybe, it, maybe it's just like significant to, um, I'm also getting like a baseball game. Like, you know, um, I know like as a kid, like I used to go, you know, baseball games, they like set off fireworks and stuff like that. So there's something about fireworks and baseball. And that is like, okay. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, a love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. See, like, she's very grounded. And here's this ace of wands. So there's like some sort of, you could even be being approached by a child, okay? Or this person is just younger than you, okay? This person is uh, going through some sort of transformation. They may be reaching out to you via like text messages, text message or something. But whatever's happening, should you choose to help, I feel like you will because it's just like your, uh, it's you have a kind nature here, okay? But it's not like. This person, what this person doesn't realize is that they've taught you how to proceed with people, how this person used to be. Okay. Because I do feel like this person has changed, but I feel like, um, they're just out of the fire. You know what? Like they just escaped getting their ass burnt. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but whatever, if they've been spooked straight is what I'm hearing. Okay. I do see that you're going to choose to help them, but you have some serious boundaries laid down in your life. And I believe that your life up until this point has probably taught you how to set those boundaries and establish very clear, like they're showing me like, you know, like this is my box, you know, <laughs> it's like, this is my box. And like, that's where you stay over there. So whoever you are, it's like you have really grown and learned from whatever this, all this betrayal was from your past. Because this is embarrassing secret. I feel like people humiliated you, told private, private things. Um, pictures could have been exposed. I mean, none of that shit is fun. Okay. And it's disgusting, honestly. And honestly, like whoever is this queen of pentacles energy, whether you're male or female, it's like, you're so much better than whatever, whomever you've been surrounded by. I just feel like you come from a place how you've learned to be so practical and grounded and stable is by dealing with the ruthlessness of others and i'm i mean like your family your friends or people that you consider your family and people that were like your blood family your friends like your bestest of friends okay lovers this is even people like just in your just environment. Like it's almost like because you're so determined, because you're so focused, because you're so driven to be who you are, because you've done the work, because you have this passion to live the way that you live. It's like almost like people just hated you for it. You're also being divinely protected. Okay. This nine of pentacles is, is a sign of a guardian angel. So 
there is someone that literally walks beside you always. For some of you, there's like multiple people walking around you, beside you, in front of you, above you. See, it says, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. I do feel like there's some sort of offer coming in. Yeah, see the star look and wise counselor. So see, you see what I mean? Like there's somebody here that I feel is, whatever you've been through, like it has not been fun, okay? It has not been fun. It has not been, you almost like, I feel like you've all, you were almost at a point where you could have wanted to give up, okay? At this eight of pentacles, but what it's like you're, you're ascending to this i feel like it's because like it this person that approaches you it might not even just be one person it's it's like you continue to stay focused on yourself and you continue to do the work despite all this bullshit, okay and you let it go you forgive and let it go and move forward. And I feel like this, like, yeah, you step into this healing. That's the star. And it allows you to be like the best kind of motherfucking counselor because you've literally gone through it all and gone to the other side of it. All of these things, they happen for a reason. I feel like the reason is being displayed to you or being shown to you during this downtime. Yeah, and it allows the wall to spin in your life and yeah see the queen of cups loving compassionate psychic self-sacrificing deep psychic insects caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself trust your intuition a deep love of family and friends follow your heart so i feel like it's like this goes back to the boundaries you become it like it didn't kill you you continue to stay open to love. You learn how to give and receive with. I heard you get what you get and you don't get upset. It's like wherever people are in your life. It's like you've put things whatever you put on a pedestal before you, you're no longer doing it. It's like, you know where people go now. You've put people in their places. You understand where people go. You're not taking offense to it. Okay. Um, yeah, see, it's like, there's something, I do feel like there is a level of like, someone needs your help or assistance. See, look, this is what you're going for is your 10 of cups. Okay. I, I feel like, what you're going to be rewarded with is this like happily ever left after life, whatever that means for you. Okay. Because everybody has a different idea of what their happily ever after is. Okay. I feel like you've literally had to, like you have literally been through a fucking war in your life. Okay. Nobody even could begin to understand what you've been through because I feel like everyone around you, almost everyone, practically everyone around you has done everything and anything they possibly could to stop you, to make you look bad, everything. I mean, look at this, like behind your back. It's like you were thinking that you were in safety surrounded possibly by your family, by your friends, and then look at what was going on in the background. Stealing your dignity. Somebody might even be coming to tell you this, what exactly what was going down. I feel like there's something here about the fire here. Like, um, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Like, I'm not a, like, I understand that, like, there's like black magic and all that kind of stuff. And like, you can like, but 
to me, our words are our most powerful thing. If you're sitting around and gossiping, like that is enough to fucking kill somebody right there. Okay. And so it's like, it's like people, you could have been talked about everything. Okay. There's something here about people are like burning things like, I don't know. This just kind of like took a turn and I don't really want to go into this energy because honestly, I don't really give a shit about it. And I don't feel like this is the energy to focus on. All right. Because whomever you are or whoever you're going through, whatever is like, because some of you have just been betrayed. Okay. And you might be stuck a little bit, but others of you, it's like, you've gotten to the other side of this. You've, 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 you're able to call a spade a spade and it's like, Yeah, the need to move on or seeking more from life than what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make a big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. Yeah, it's like you're walking away from anything and everything that betrayed you. Who were you loyal to? Yourself, because you found out <laughs> in the end, this is what everything taught you is that's that's what you got. Your name and your word and that's it. And you got a faith in like what's above. And this is why it's like easy for you to, not easy, but you're walking through the door and you're headed towards wherever life is leading you. Yeah, see? Six of Cups. Ch children or childhood. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. Romantic romanticizing how things used to be. Yeah, so... Um, There is something happening here. I, it's like a healing. I feel like walking away from all these people actually heals your inner child. Because like I said, some of you have like gone through a motherfucking war, like with your family, with your friends, with every single person that you've trusted. Like you were safe enough to like be out in the middle of nowhere with these people thinking you were safe and sound. And meanwhile, behind your back, they had like all this bullshit planned. So it's like, these were people that you trusted deeply. And I feel like now you're walking away and what it's like being loyal to your, yourself heals this inner child of yours, allows you just to kind of like soothe it and comfort it. And it's like, you're seeing things for what they are now. You're no longer bullshitting yourself and it's moving forward no longer angry just at peace with the release of whoever these people are or have been in your life and trusting that it's like in doing that you make space for all the new things that god wants to give to you and the, yeah your ten of cups and you see how i had to like lean over on my bed to get that it's like you've had to work your ass off to get to this emotional fulfillment. It says a happy marriage. So somebody may even be coming into your life to, um, I heard some people are eloping a happy marriage, happily ever after emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully people you can trust. And that's exactly what you're walking towards. And it's because you did the motherfucking work to heal your inner child. And this is why I just heard you're moving to the land of milk and honey. Yeah. Victory, baby. I love you. You guys are freaking rock stars and I hope that you have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.